All right, hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here, trying to get this review in before it gets too dark. So I'm trying to get in, get in, get, get out quick. It's like a burglary. Shh. All right, let's go over this custom e-bike we got here for you. Guys, I'm Johnny Nerd out. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm still in this whole burglary theme that I've created in my head. I'm Johnny Nerd out. I'm a professional e-bike builder, believe it or not. I make custom e-bikes. I take bikes that are cool. I make them freaking awesome. This is this is the future. The Schwinn DP. We've got the BBS HD motor on it. Puts out a thousand watts nominal. Um, at peak, it's a little over 1700 watts. Paired it with a 52 volt battery, 17 and a half amp hours. It's good for a 30 to 60 mile range, somewhere around there, depending on riding style. Your mileage may vary. We got a 500C display. It's a nice color display. It's nice, simple, all in one buttons, everything right there. I really like this display. I think it's it's my go-to. It's not like top of the line, but it's like, for me, it shows you everything you need and it's reliable and it's just a great display. I like it. So this is my go-to step up display. Put a gear shift sensor on it right here because it is a mid drive. You put a mid, you put a gear shift sensor on mid drives. We also upgraded it. We got a Lecky bling ring. It's a 42 tooth. We needed a 42 tooth because we needed to bring that chain line in all the way because right now on this lowest gear, it's like a, it's a crazy offset. We tried to put a 36 on to get a little bit more torque, a little bit more low end, but it just kept slipping off. So we had to go 42 to kind of grab it more and to bring that chain line in a little bit more. So this is the sweet spot. It comes with a dropper seat post, which was kind of interesting. It's kind of nice, pretty cool. It's got these massive 29 by 2, 2.6 inch tires. These things are, they're nice. These are the kind of size tires that I would like on a bike. It's got mechanical disc brakes. It's got an ax derailleur. I've never heard of that before. So, you know, I would probably upgrade that. I'd probably put like a, you know, Shimano or a SRAM shifter on there. But yeah, it's a pretty slick bike. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test on it. Okay, so you can see this bike moves pretty good. It, uh, it's got a pretty good top speed, even with having these like fat tires. I think it's probably because the tires are so big that it just wants to go fast. And it hill climbs really well too. I think it's because of that granny gear. I think it's a 44 tooth in the rear. This is a good all around bike. You're gonna get that good top end speed and killer low end speed. This is something that a hub motor cannot do. I don't care who you are, what you say. A hub motor, a 52 volt, 30, drawing 30 amps, hub motor cannot match this in performance across the entire range. This is the benefits of a mid drive. This is why you get a mid drive. This is why I put a mid drive on every, anything and why I won't carry a hub motor. There's no reason why I can't carry a hub motor. I just choose not to. I would not put that on a bike for this reason alone. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox now, guys. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't offend too many people out there <laughs> with that. <laughs> Apparently it, it irks some people when I, when I bash hub motors. I'm a fan of hub motors. I'm a fan of e-bikes. I'm not a fan of hub motors. I'm a fan of e-bikes. Hub motors are, are fine. Mid drives are great. All right, later guys.